Hello Pisces, this is your reading for the 15th through the 16th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Beautiful. Getting out and smelling the roses. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Mm-hmm. Then keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type in expectations. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see what other messages Tarot has for you guys. What messages do we have for Pisces? Messages for Pisces. We have judgment. Hmm. Hearing the call, deciding whether or not um, something should you should revisit something. You should revive something here. Okay, taking a look in the mirror and seeing if you know there's something about yourself that that you need to change even. But this is all about you know making a decision here on whether or not to bring a relationship back into um, existence. Is there enough attraction there to this person? Chemical attraction even you know is it is it still something there do you guys still share this excitement for each other hmm three of pentacles can you guys work together can you compromise you know in this situation can you work together because there's definitely growth here i feel for you guys <laughs> and will you keep an open mind and step out on faith that this can work, that you guys can grow together, that you can have a stable, happy home with this person? And I'm thinking that the choice is up to you guys. Okay? Strong Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn energy is here. Hmm. Right now, I feel like you guys are at a stalemate, um, very indecisive, really not knowing what's best for you, what you know, what you can do, or what should you do even. Hmm. Three of Wands. I think you guys are very defensive. I think you know you're kind of at a crossroads here. Um, maybe there's something else better for you. Um, maybe you should explore those options. Thinking a lot about the past, past issue, past issues, and um, you know, just thinking about the relationship in general. I feel like you guys are blocking someone out um, energetically. I think you've lost trust. Is what I'm getting here. You've lost faith that um, this is the one for you. I think you guys are just really wanting to move on. I feel by yourself because you've been hurt. You're moving on begrudgingly though. Because you really at one point felt like this was the one. That somebody I think felt like the grass was greener on the, on the other side and they kind of broke up this happy home. Whoever that is, okay? Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. I think you guys, for the most part, you have your back turned on this situation. Um, I think you've given up. But, you know, with the fool falling under, keep an open mind. Um, you know, there may be a need to, like, really take a second look at this situation. Maybe there is something that you guys can actually do to work this out, even if that involves seeing a counselor, okay? If this is a marriage, I think um, maybe getting a third, um, a third mind into this, third insight, you know, into the situation, uh, that may be beneficial to get some counseling here. Um, I'm, I'm getting that maybe there was a third party involved here where somebody left again, um, decided to to step out because they felt like the grass was green on the other side. But um, 
you guys are definitely, you know, you're being pulled to make a decision on this, on this situation. To make a choice in this matter, okay? Hmm. Seven of Pentacles there. I don't get you guys are wanting to invest in a situation anymore. You only want to invest in yourselves. I think you're done. I think you feel like you've put enough time and energy into this situation. And, um, yeah. Mm -mm. I think you are just wanting to be by yourself, honestly. You just want to be happy. It's like, you know, if you get into a relationship, if it's giving you what you what you need, then you're good. But if it's not, you're prepared to be by yourself. Because either way, you feel like, you know, not putting up with bullshit is, you know, is where it's at. And it is. Having harmony and happiness in your life, whether with someone or without. Because I'm feeling like you guys are holding on. You're holding back because you've been hurt here. And you're not lending your energy to... Um, to situations easily at this point. You're not willing to. Okay. Let's see. Then we have love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. And I feel that from you guys. Um, you're not against relationships or commitment, but um, I think you've kind of like, you haven't given up on it. Um, you're, you're just not that optimistic right now. And I feel because you guys have been hurt. Okay, so we have Virgo, Taurus, um, Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius energy here. I feel Capricorn is strong, Scorpio, and um, Libra. All right, guys, so I'll be speaking with you soon.